Hey everyone, Peppermint Loser here. This is a more serious video, a lot more serious than my last one because I searched up a, this story on this website and I couldn't find anything on it and I found about it just yesterday. Okay, so there's two things you're going to learn from this. One, don't accept food from strangers, especially at conventions. And two, do not murder or attack <laughs> somebody over something you don't like, regardless of what it is, fictional-wise. Because it's fiction, it's not going to hurt you, it's completely fake. So what happened was, say, in Taiwan, there was a convention and there was an artist at an artist table that just at their booth and doing their own thing and a so-called fan came up and gave him a cookie. The artist accepted it and they took a bite out of it only to find deep pain in their tongue. Finding that a needle had stabbed them in the tongue. They spat out the needle along with some blood and ended up having to go to the hospital. Now the person who did it wasn't caught, uh, nobody knew who did it, so they didn't get punished, they didn't get arrested. As for the artist, their username is completely unknown, it wasn't given to me. You can find the whole story on Reddit. Apparently the, the only thing that they noticed, so uh, why the person could have done it, the artist ship stands at Frisk in Undertale. Okay, I said it over, what, 9,000 times now? I don't ship Sans X Frisk in any form. I don't even ship it in flower fill. I just don't. I don't care if you do. Just don't be rude to me because I don't feel the same way as you. Apparently, some people just don't seem to get that. <sighs> My god. You're not gonna find things you like on the internet all the time. You'd think people would know this stuff, but they just don't. And. Sometimes it's just really frustrating that they act like they're just mindless animals over something so little. Something that's not really doing anything to them. Stuff like this is why people complain that video games are killing people. Video games are brainwashing people. No, that's bullcrap. It completely depends on the person. It's only as real as you let it be. Don't let it to impact your life, like mentally or anything. It's all on you. You can't blame the source. Stuff like this is uh, one reason why even Toby Fox himself is actually concerned about some of his fans. Uh, and that's pretty sad, honestly. And all I could say was, guys, if you keep this up, you're gonna give us all a bad rep. Make us just as bad as the My Little Pony day rep. And everybody knows what, why the My Little Pony fandom is hate a lot because of all the messed up things that some bronies or pegasisters have done. Please, don't go down that path. I'm not saying all of them do that, but please do not do this. As for the artists, I really hope you're okay, and I wish the best. I'm really sorry you had to go through that. As for the person, I have no words other than you should be ashamed of yourself, and you only have yourself to blame. I know that's not really going to really do anything to you, but all I can say was I hope you live with the pain of your guilt for it as long as you can remember. Anyways, this is a pretty short video because it's just something I need to talk about. Again, don't accept no, food from strangers regardless of it, what it is, regardless of how nice it is, not even at conventions, and don't hurt people or try to murder them over a ship. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but like I said, sometimes it just seems like people just don't seem to understand this. Honestly, this is worse than the rabid anti-Soriel shippers attacking ours for John Soriel. Anyways, that's all for now. Have a nice night. Nighty night.